researchers have shown that ancient Egyptian iron beads held at the UCL Petri Museum were hammered from pieces of meteorites rather than iron ore. The objects which trace their origins to outer space also predate the emergence of iron smelting by two millennia. Carefully hammered into thin sheets before being rolled into tubes, the nine beads, which are 5,000 years old, were originally strung into a necklace together with other exotic minerals such as gold and gemstone, revealing the high value of this exotic material in ancient times. The study is published in the Journal of Archaeological Science. Professor Tilo Rehren, UCL Archaeology in Qatar, lead author of the paper said, quote, the shape of the beads was obtained by smithing and rolling, most likely involving multiple cycles of hammering and not by the traditional stoneworking techniques such as carving or drilling, which were used for the other beads found in the same tomb." End quote. The team's results show that in the 4th millennium BC, metal workers had already mastered the smelting of meteoritic iron, an iron-nickel alloy much harder and more brittle than the more commonly worked copper, developing techniques that went on to define the Iron Age. As a result, metal workers had already nearly two millennia of experience of working with meteoritic iron when iron smelting was introduced in the mid-second millennium BC. This knowledge was essential for the development of iron smelting and the production of iron ore, enabling iron to replace copper and bronze as the main metals used. Excavated in 1911 in a pre-dynastic cemetery near the village of Gerze in Lower Egypt, the beads were already completely corroded when they were discovered. As a result, the team used X-ray methods to determine whether the beads were actually meteoric iron and not magnetite, which can often be mistaken to be corroded iron due to similar properties. By scanning the beads with beam of neutrons and gamma rays, the team were able to reveal the unique texture and also high concentration of nickel, cobalt, phosphorus and germanium, which is only found in trace amounts in iron derived from ore. That is characteristics of meteoric iron without having to attempt invasive analysis which could potentially damage these rare objects. Professor Rehrain said, quote, The really exciting outcome of this research is that we were for the first time able to demonstrate conclusively that there are typical trace elements such as cobalt and germanium present in these beads at level that only occur in meteoric iron. We are also excited to be able to see the internal structure of the beads, revealing how they were rolled and hammered into form. This is very different technology from the usual stone beads drilling and shows quite an advanced understanding of how the metalsmiths worked is rather difficult material." End quote.